So we're digging this out, digging down, new new foundation, build up. So today's just digging out in the concrete. Now that's a charger. <laughs> that's a battery. It's bigger than Alex's head. Tuesday morning, Tuesday the 16th of August, when I could have been in hospital and my leg done, was it? but I got two days notice so that wasn't happening. So we're here on um, lastminute.com job. We've, um, we've been to see this job, but it wasn't supposed to be done just yet. Sack the juggler. But um, Neil who we're working with is a bit worried that it's going to need doing when I've had my leg done. So we've spoke to the customer this morning and just said, can we do this today? Which is a bit of a shock, but um, they're quite happy for us to go ahead because we're digging this out. Don't usually do this because there's usually a good slab underneath, but we're just assuming this slab's no good. So we're digging this out, digging down, new, new foundation, build up. So today's just digging out in the concrete because it's getting on for 11 o'clock now. Um, and they need access. To yeah, they this. need to clear the place out. Yeah. The door's coming off eventually, probably next week sometime. We're going to do the two then today. And another job to do is that duck window behind that fridge freezer. That window's coming out and that's going to be turned into French doors or patio doors. So Neil's asked us, once we've built this front up, take the window out, take the brickwork out, and then just cover it with this screen so they do, they do have access to the garage if they need it. But I think by then, the garage will be cleared out by then. So yeah, that's the plan. We're finally getting to use the new cutter. No, we're not. Because we don't want to make any dust in the garage. So we, we nearly got to use the cutter. That one but that's what we're definitely using, is the new breaker. The MX Fuel stuff. The MX Fuel is the ones with the big batteries. What was it going to say? We'll be using the cutter for this, won't we? Oh yeah, we'll have to shut the, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're, we're going to cut the... The, the driveway back flush with the brickwork. Yes. So we're having. I don't know if they can even hear me or not. Let's see, four, four forty. Yeah. It's that, uh, foundation that, including this part, we're going to be taking off. It's only like ten cores of brick, and a, and the window's not sitting on the brickwork. The window's fixed to the walls. Yeah. So yeah, we will be using that, even though it only needs like a two-inch cut. That's a hundred and fifteen mil depth cut. That. It's an absolute beast. We can't wait to get that used. There's the uh, battery. It's a spare battery. And there's the charger. Now that's a charger. <laughs> and that's a battery. It's bigger than Alex's head. <laughs> so there you go. And we've got some some chisels for the breaker, the SDS Max breaker. So we're going to give that a go and give that a go. But I think that's going to be the winner. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, let's get cracking. Now let's just mark it out. We can start making a mess. Oh yeah, no skip today because obviously it's short notice. We're going to pile everything over here, and then we'll get rid of it when we get a skip. It's a bit tight on the drive, so we need to organise the drive for a little skip. So let's crack on. Yeah. Okay. 
but it won't be like, it won't, it won't actually be long with this thing, so. Okay. How you find it? <laughs> Good. Wow. That is cool. Definitely it doesn't is. have a vertical, it's definitely horizontal, but it's the weight in it and there's no vibration whatsoever. No. Can't feel anything. I know I've got earphones on, but it didn't sound as loud. No. Just give this thing a whirl now along that line. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Try and go this way then, just so you're not dusting up the rabbit. Yeah, we can put the hose on it. Yeah. There we go. I'm just uh, starting my sipping from my sores all. How's yeah. that going? Hmm? I expect it's quite soft. It is, yeah. time that's great it's this turn now and unfortunately we have to use water suppression with it so our beautiful clean cutter is going to get covered as well as me half Like butter? Mm. Like butter? Absolutely.
Well, it's been baptized. Oh, yeah. And that is why we're not as keen on water suppression when we don't really need it. What's that? That's why we're not as keen on water suppression. That's why I hate water suppression. All right, the dust is down, but look at the state of the place. The only reason we're using the dust suppression here is because of the rabbits either side of the garage. We've got the PP and everything, which makes it so much easier, but look at the state of that. Anyway. So, it's about like 20 to 12, so I'm gonna start, I've made a start chipping off all that. I'm gonna get these halves out, hopefully, if the reciprocal cut deep enough because of the blades. What we need to do is chuck all the stuff in the garage, <coughs> head off for um, food for the stuff and we'll have, like, get some dinner while we're out since we didn't bring dinner with us today. I did. Oh did you? Oh. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, make some more mix. What I've got here is my dream scotch hammer. I've been wanting one of these for so long. So I spotted that um, Rhino had one in the shop. So that was the first thing I picked up to buy from Rhino yesterday. Absolutely, look at it. The, the wooden handles, the heads always fall off because they, they take a lot of stress. We've had <clears throat> other makes that I've had fiberglass handles and the head still falls off so this it's a solid solid head and shaft down is the handle so there has to be so much seriously long for that to break or fall off so that's gonna outlast all the scotch hammers you've got a nice rubber comfort handle as well a lot better for using for a long time but look at that look at that made up Well, we can see progress at least. <laughs> My side's done. We took out an extra brick because it was um, absolutely shattered. The face had blown off. And I think the same there. That corner's blown off on that bottom brick. So that one's coming out too. <laughs> but yeah, making progress. It's about 10 past 12 now. So I think we're going to get these bricks out. Go and grab some stuff. Grab some lunch. And then we'll be back to uh, get this 4 inch slab taken out. And then take out enough to get uh, some concrete in so yeah not bad progress so far we'll uh we'll catch in a bit right this needs a new battery alex has had his dinner because he brought his dinner i haven't got any dinner so he's leaving me again yes i've been back for two jobs on both of them he's left so there's the chaos there's the battery done yeah yeah so that battery's back to full um ready to go back on the breaker that battery's doing pretty well, I think. That's pretty clean because I've hosed it down. All the batteries are doing quite well, to be honest. That uh, 12 amp hour lasted after breaking all those. Yeah. Breaking all those bricks. You're probably better using that because it's probably quicker than the than the. Shh. Where is it? Um, it's there. In the the SDS Max, that one. That's probably, great. But why quieter. use that when you've got that? It's probably quieter and all. I can't, I can't stress how much, just lift it up mate and let me show how the vibration on this is zero. So if you put that there, you see the movement, just give it a good push. So all that movement is absorbed by the, the machine and you don't feel any through your hands. So no more white finger for me. No. It's absolutely brilliant. 
so I'm going to nip off and get the concrete and materials so we can get this concrete mixed and put in today and Alex is going to get, get get the door open and get that dug out well get started anyway so um, I'll catch you when I'm back Oh god, well, we're making progress at least, over half of the concrete's out, as much of a beast that is, we've not got a, uh, a chisel bit so all that's really good for, that was good for making the break, but um, I'm using the, the, the smaller beast to um, actually break off the concrete, and as you can see there's not a lot of it, that's about it. So it's coming off easily enough, but uh, it's got all this like thrown around inside of it. So you got sandstone bricks. There's another big piece there. But uh, yeah, um, the battery's overheated and died, I think. So I'm gonna give the that little. I'm gonna give the 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 other big boy a little break for now. I'll get some of this crap out and. Then, like Dad said, I think we're just going to dig until we find good ground, which may take a while because it's just bricks and sandstone and big clumps thrown in. But we'll get there. And not done too bad with keeping with the uh, with the line as well. So it's just that little chunk left to do, and then it'll be a case of digging and getting around all the big clumps. I'm gonna see if the customer lets us borrow some of the buckets just for to put the um, the soil in for now until we we get back on this properly with the skip. So just while I clean this out, I'll um, I'll leave it off for now because it's just cleaning up. And I'll come back to you when uh, when the drill's ready for another round. So we'll see you in a bit.
It's after three now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, about half past, I think. Yeah, one hour enough for me dinner. I started the dig and he said, it's going to be a tough dig, this. No, it won't be that bad. Again soon. No. Yeah, um, this sort come out and all that. And because this was a last minute job, we've not had to get a skip organised. I probably should mention this already, but. Because we got here a bit late, it's yeah. dragging on now. It's pushed on a bit, yeah. When he, when he came at 10 o'clock, because we, we weren't actually got planning to start, we just come and see the customer. But because they agreed, they let us start today. The, um, the four, five gorillas will be the four. We've got to board the pile up. So um, we're not back here tomorrow, we're back here Friday. So um, when we leave here today, the concrete is ready to go. And what's good now is we've made all the noise today. But maybe by like, maybe taking too hard. Too hard out. Two things done, the cutting's done, and obviously this the breaking. breaking will be done. So yeah. at least the, the rabbits can have peace now. Yeah. There's just that door to take out, but that's just two cuts. I'm thinking of um, taking that door out. And using the bricks on here, mm. mixing in some new ones, so it's not all new brick. There's, there's probably two thirds of the brick we need in there to go in here, but we'll see. So Alex is just moving all this crap over there, so we can get the mix set up. Just tip it straight in. And I'm just digging it out. That's down to soil now, and it's down level with the foundation. So we're going to go down about another six inches, nine inches, all the way across, nice and wide, and then. Lock the concrete in. I think it might be a trench block, of course, a trench block through there. Yeah. But we'll see, yeah. So, um, back to town, that's where we get this lot out. It's a bit warmer since we last saw you, so much so the camera overheated. But, um, progress update <laughs> we have found the waste pipe because uh, there's a toilet back there. So, there's the waste pipe and the water pipe which we uh, didn't account for. So, Dad's just gonna nip home and grab some boards so we can shutter it. But, I've em yeah. I've emptied the van out so I can start bringing all the uh, ballast and cement over once I've tidied up a bit. I've had to uh, make a little fort. Yeah, we need to get a skip order for there. Yeah. And then all. I don't think the customers got any bits of wood knocking out, but they haven't. No. But um, that's that's all going back in as well as backfilling. If what? That's just backfilling behind the wall. Yeah, it's yeah. stone. That. Some of it is anyway. Any any more than these leftovers getting tossed. The thing is, it's not um, it's not a building next job. They're just they're just, they're just making it into a glorified shed. But like we're going to insulate this. I don't think the rest of the building's getting insulated, but we're just going to build a cavity wall, insulate it like we would normally. Yeah. Hundred mil cavity because it's not under eggs, and then we're knocking that door through, and then Neil's putting a floor in it, and then I'm not sure if it's getting boarded out or what. I think it's going to be used more for storage and like. It's like a, a game room or something. It's not really like a home office, like before. No. Insulated and all that sort of It's just getting repurposed. Yeah. You best get going then. Yeah. I'll um. I'll just get tidied up and I'll start bringing the bags over. So uh, catch you in a bit. I'll set you up while I'm doing. It. It's uh. It's quite a day. Our other uh. Poly spot boards being chopped up. Like an old friend, this one, isn't it? We already had to sacrifice one of them to uh, the shutter in. Now this. Put that, put that in half, trim it down a bit, and slot each side. Put 
couple of bricks on top to stop it's crushing. So I'm not going over there. That's good. I'm finishing earlier. Huh. Get the major one. We'll finish at six instead of half six. You set the recipe up with the metal blazer. Right. Need to take a moment for our board that was. I think, I think you've had that longer than me. Yeah. There we go. It's uh, it's fulfilling its duty as a shutter now. Yes. But that's ready for concrete now. I'm just getting the ballast over. Cement's all over. So you can actually make a start now. Yes. If, if you if you get, get the mixer over. The uh, board's buried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The mixer board's there. And that's our pile. Well, you wouldn't think all oh, that's just come out of a little little dig at the front of a garage. That's a shock at that. So yeah, obviously, going down to like 750, 800. Yeah. So obviously, once we get the skip, all well, that's going into a skip. That's why, no matter what kind of dig you're doing, always have like a skip or a grab ready, because depends on the job, you will most probably need it. We, uh, like I said, that's all that is. That, that, and all that. I'll show you a bit closer. There you go. It's a lot of tubs. But yeah, I'll get you set up while Dad's uh, mixing. I'm uh, still getting the ballast, so I'll come and join him in, in shortly. Catch you in a bit. about 10 plus 5 so that is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I was expecting 6 to be honest. But we've still got to clean up yet but concrete's in. I've just got to tamp that around in, in a minute. Oh, I'm just missing there. Oh, hmm? going over 
So there we go, concrete's in for 10 past five, considering we started at like 11. So not awful, could have been worse. Now, we're gonna leave the mixer here because the next job is a demolition job and then we're back here. So we'll leave the mixer here. We'll be back on this, what day is it today? So on Thursday we'll be back here. Thursday we're back here. Wednesday, demolishing the wall, which you'll see in another video. But that'll be the end of this one. Yeah, because the next part will be brickwork, won't it? I think the next part's going to be taking that window out. Probably both, won't it? Probably taking the window out, cleaning the bricks, and going collecting the bricks from this, and then we'll do this the next day, another day. So we're trying to get all that in one day. So probably that's where we'll push through that and that. That's an extra. That's Neil's job to do that for Neil, so we'll do that. Clean the bricks, see when you need it. You heard it from him, hopefully. I want to break out and repoint so that all the, the two pillars match the brickwork under the window. The brickwork, the brickwork might be spot on, but all the mortar will be the same colour and the same finish. Probably a teaspoon finish. Or ball joint finish with the new. Not big enough. Isn't it? Need a big reward for that. <laughs> well, like, anyway, that's the end of this video. So, whichever part is next, stay tuned for that one. Thank you all for mo very much for watching. It's been a while since I've done this. Thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to... Oh, God, I, f I forgot everything. Subscribe button. Be sure to... If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on the bell. That way you'll be notified when we upload. It's a massive help, and we appreciate all the support. And I would appreciate if I remember this outro properly. This has been Brain Dead Alex and Steve. Uh, with a very long foundation but we'll see you in the next one